Yes. Just so they can be right. But can I tell you something? As a people see that, that, that it's not about us being right. It's about Him needing us. Because if He needs us, He'll need us the right way. That's why Grandma used to say, "When He needs me, I will." Follow. Believers know that God is always right if a person's actions demonstrate his or her allegiance. That all who do what right is God's children. People don't become children of God by doing right. Instead, doing right is a sign that people have already become God's children. When we were growing up, it took everything we had. We wanted to please mom and dad. I know he rough now. I understand. But you know what? When he gets a little older, he gonna want to please you. Cause he gonna bring you little Mother's Day cards. He gonna bring you little Easter and Christmas stuff that they ain't doing it already. And sometimes you might have to ask him what it is. But you gonna be so happy because your child wants to please you. Now, if your son wants to please you, we in turn ought to want to please our Heavenly Father. Am I right or not? I don't care how old you get. Daddy, look what I did. You know, the disciples said, we prophesied in your name. We cast out demons in your name. And Jesus said, you're going to do much more than this. Because we want to please. Anybody want to please God? Then we have to deny ourselves. Because true faith always results in good deeds. Those who claim to have faith and who consistently do right are true believers. Now you're going to fall short. But in your mind, you may not know scripture. But you ought to know what's right in the sight of God. Am I right about it? You are there to be sitting on the inside telling you that ain't the right thing to do. And my question is, who are you going to follow? Good deeds cannot produce salvation. But they are ne the necessary proof that you are saved. Because I'm doing the will of God. Because I want to go back to heaven with him. James 2, 14 and 17 says, uh, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, Go, I wish you well. Keep warm and well fed but does nothing about his physical needs. What good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Tell your neighbor, they may not have helped you, but you made it. And the reason that you made it is because God has been good to you. I believe that there's somebody here that's been through the storm and the rain. I believe that there's somebody here that had some heartache and some pain. Oh, brothers and sisters, aren't you glad? Yeah, that you did not stray away from the Lord. Oh, there are times, yeah, when I wanted to throw in the towel. Am I right about that? I said I wasn't going to church anymore. But oh, when I 
think, yeah, Lord, uh, about the goodness of Jesus. I found myself in the midst of tribulation, telling God, thank you. I found myself in the midst of being lied on, raising holy hands, saying hallelujah. When I didn't have a dime to my name Because I understand If I don't make it here Yes, when I see Jesus Amen When I see the one Yeah, who died for me Way back, way back, way back Yeah, Lord on Calvary. Yeah, I heard the songwriter say, I heard in the other day, church, he said, if the Lord never does anything else for me, I heard him say, he's done enough. And I made up in my mind as I was listening to the song, I began to reflect on what God has done for me. Not only what he's done for me, but what he's done for you. If I got a witness in the house this morning, that the Lord has, yeah, been good to you and me. Well, what he do, Reverend? I'm glad that you asked. I tell you, he does the same thing every Sunday. Yeah, I tell you that he came through 42 generations. Don't I say it, church? I tell you that he healed the sick and he raised the dead. Don't I tell it to you, church? I tell you. In a garden called the Seminary. Yeah, he had a little talk with the Father. I asked you every Sunday, is anybody here ever had to talk to the Father? Is anybody here and ask the Lord, if it be my will, let this cup pass from me. But thank you, Jesus. We got enough faith now to say, Nevertheless, your will be done. I tell you every Sunday that they put cross upon his back. Don't I tell you, church? Don't I tell you that they made him carry the cross up to Galgotha's hill? Don't I tell you, church? Don't I tell you that when they got to the hill, they put nails in his hands? But I told you that before. But don't I tell you that they made one mistake, church? And that's when uh, they lifted him up. Lord, I wish I was in a praying church this morning. I wish I was in a church that didn't mind shouting. They didn't mind praising God. But I heard, I heard him say, if I be lifted up, I'll draw. Every Sunday church. Don't I tell you he died till the sun refused to shine. 